What's up, fam? I'm JB Black CEO, and welcome to Black CEO Media 2.0. It's Saturday night out here in America, and do you see the title? It's kind of long. It's September, what's that? Saturday, September 16, 2023. And from my understanding, Shankula Robinson family has fired off a cease and desist letter to the Tubi Street series producers out here in America. I'm going to put the article up here. It's trending. Let's unpack it out here in America. Let's roll. The truth and not the damn juice. Listen. Turn them damn balls in. The truth and <laughs> Let's roll. This is what I got right here. It's starting to trend tonight. Uh, let me say the date again. Let me get my phone. Uh, what's it? Saturday 16th. Uh, Saturday, September 16th, 2023, out here in America. And we all know what happened to Shankula Robinson, which is so sad. And these people need to be locked up, though. But it's now coming out on the internet. You might see one or two bloggers. I might be the second one to bring this out. But uh, Shankula Robinson family. Um, Sue Ann Robinson, attorney, allegedly has sent a cis and deceased letter over misrepresentation of Shankula Robinson in the Tubi series. Let's go ahead and read it and let's get to the point and don't play around real quick. All right. Let's see. Now, this is this picture when they went to uh, Washington. And make sure y'all Google this. After you see this video, Google it so you can see it yourself and also check out YouTube. But that picture right there behind us when they went to Washington trying to get justice for our baby girl, Quilla. Family of Shaquilla Robinson fires off cease and desist letter over her misrepresentation in Tubi series. The crime drama Street Legal was served a cease and desist letter alleging that um, Shaquilla Robinson's likeness was used without uh, approval. All right, let me make this even bigger here. Say her uh, likeness was used without the approval. All right, let's get on down to the nitty gritty. Let's get on down to the grid and the gritty that's gritty. All right, this is what, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. A painful wound that has been re uh, reopened for the family of Shakula Robinson after learning that Tubi series used aspects of the real life tragedy as a plot in a recent episode of one of their network shows. As a result, the crime drama uh, Street Legal has served has been served a cease and desist letter alleging that the deceased young woman likeness was used without the approval of her family or overseers of her estate. We must uh, express our profound dismay at the uh, at the distressing misrepresentation and unauthorized use of Shankula Robinson's identity and the events surrounding her tragic passing. Reads the letter sent on behalf of Shankula Robinson, loved one from attorney Sue Ann Robinson, a widely reported by revolt. The 25 year old passed away within a day of arriving in St. Lucas, Cabo, uh, Cabo St. Lucas, in uh, October 2022 to celebrate her birthday with a group of fake friends, a uh, purported friends. Soon after her passing, a video surfaced online showing the woman naked and seemingly disoriented as she was plummeted by punches by a woman in the group. This serving footage contradicts the story by Shankula's Robinson passing that was shared by friends uh, with her parents, Bernard. What's that, Bernard and Salamandra Robinson? I like the way they putting them in there together right there. And uh, they should say, you know, it's it, anyway. Uh, episode two of Street Legal titled Frenemies reads Within 24 hours, a group of friends travel to Mexico for a birthday celebration turns into a crime scene, and everyone has a different story. Are they friends or enemies? The cease and, uh, the cease and desist letter states that covertly exploited. The depiction of Shankula Robinson is an infringement upon the family and her estate's legal right to publicity. Public publicity, it continues. This unauthorized use has caused significant emotional distress and harm to the Robinson family as it has dredged up painful memories and portrayed our loved one in a manner that is inaccurate, disrespectful, and damaging to her reputation. Mm -hmm. Hit your black, hit your black. Demands for the re remit of remit dial steps to rectify the issue uh includes that the episode be removed from tubi and additional platforms and that distribution of related materials reference and cooler likeness be halted other actions outlined require a public apology to be issued and that the robinson family will be compensated for the emotional anguish and the damage the 
defamatory depiction has caused to, to the young woman's legacy. At this time of the report, Street League actor producers Denny L. Reed II has not issued a public comment on the matter. However, as of Saturday, as of Saturday 16, multiple posts uh, resharing the letter can be viewed on his Instagram story. So there it is. They're going to reach out to the producer, Dennis L. Reed, and uh, waiting on him to comment on that cease and desist letter, y'all. Make sure you go out and uh, peep it out. It's online, and it should start trending in the next couple of days. And hopefully tomorrow on Sunday here at Black CEO Media, we can go live and chop it up and unpack it out here in America, though. Wind this video back, peep it out, and I'll, or either go online and Google it, and you'll see they say revolt. That uh, media agency online uh, started reporting it first out here in America, though. All right, let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, I know a lot of people didn't want to see that. And, you know, i am be honest, to the degree I thought it would be cool, but it would be cool, let's say, if the family put one out. You know what I'm saying? I think it would be real helpful for the world if they can do one under their terms, under their director directions, and, uh, you know, get the real story out for our sister Quilly. All right, let me get ready to get up out of here. Uh, make sure you hit like, hit that notification button. So when I do go live, I'm going to bring you the truth and not the damn juice out here in America, though. So make sure you subscribe, hit like, hit that notification button. So when I do go live or drop a video, you'll get the notification. And I'm going to bring you the truth and not the damn juice. There it is. Family Lesson Quilla Robinson fires off a cease and desist letter over a misreputation in two series. All right, I'm out.